What's up, challengers? Welcome to the gym. My name is Gym Leader Geo, and this is the locker room. Week one of the GBA, the San Francisco Giantes, are going up against Jolt and the Kansas City Girat Chiefs. This is going to be a ludicrously shorter locker room, just because as I was mapping it out in my head, LGPE, there are so fewer decisions to make. Like, there honestly are, and it's it's kind of insane uh, as I was team building I was like there's not really I'm done I'm done already like this there's no really, there's no speed creeping uh, I'm kind of just running like one or two calcs here and there it's just it's really weird I don't like it not gonna I'm not gonna lie I'm gonna be transparent with you guys you know me I'm honest that like this will be my first let's go Wi-Fi battle I haven't done it yet in fact, I had to rush through the game right before I battled Jolt. I, I bursted through it as fast as I could during during my work week. As soon as I got home, I was like, I gotta, I gotta finish this quickly because I didn't have the Mega Stone yet. LGPE feels like an unfinished game to me, like honestly. And I, but I love the graphics and I'm I'm excited for the future of Switch Pokemon. But I'm I'm digressing here. Uh, let's go into talking about my team, shall we? So the six you see on the screen are the six I'm going to be able to choose from in the best of three 4v4 scenario that we're going to go up against um, for this season. So uh, I am bringing Charza. I don't have nicknames for them yet. I forgot to put them in when I was uh, team building. So the, there will be nicknames next week. But for now, I just I don't have any. Uh, so we have a, we're bringing Charizard X, Nidoqueen, Executor, Hitmonlee, Tauros, and Vaporeon. Now you're going to see like crazy inflated numbers. That's the candy. Um, when the, when the Pokemon got gen, they're all candied Pokemon. Uh, major shout out to the common dude because uh, due to a, like a firmware update, a bunch of people were not able to gen unless they had two different uh, switches. One that was pre-firmware update, one that was post. Uh, and then you have to trade to yourself and then trade to someone else and it was a whole nightmare and very few people could do it and so the common dude he gen for everyone every single team for week one uh of the gba that is absolutely insane and major shout out to that guy honestly uh so let's go into the team here we are looking at charizard uh mr charizard x we're running jolly simply because we got the uh the 100 base speed when we're Mega Evolved and we want to be able to speed tie, uh, Jolt has a couple of, of 100s as well. Uh, how do I, what am I clicking? Uh, move details. So we're bringing uh, Flare Blitz, Earthquake, Counter, and Roost. So the reason for this is Charizard's a pretty good switch into a few of his physical attackers. Uh, most notably, he can uh, do very well against Rapidash. Uh, and in general, he can... Um, Depending on the variant of the Mega Kanga and what move he's going for, uh, Charizard may be able to survive a two-hit KO, might be able to roost stall a little bit, uh, and more importantly, counter allows him to actually take on both Mega Kangas Khan as well as Aerodactyl. Now, Aerodactyl is very fast, ludicrously fast, and has great coverage in general, so he's kind of a threat that I'm interested in making sure that I have an answer for. So that's the, the purpose of Megazard. Uh, obviously, Flare Blitz is probably just the, the best stab move that I got uh, uh, here, and the mons that resist it, uh, I have Earthquake for, so that's that. Moving on, we have a Stealth Rock, Super Fang, Ice Beam, Earthquake, Nidoqueen, that is, uh, what do I, is it back? Yeah, that is Relaxed Nature, because that allows me to survive a two-hit KO from um, from Aerodactyl makes me a pretty decent Aerodactyl answer. Ice Beam should be able to two-hit KO that. Uh, Earthquake, uh, pretty good against some of the other things. Super Fang, just in case uh, he brings something bulky and I want to just be able to put 50% on it. And Stealth Rocks, in case I want a Stealth Rocker. Uh, moving on, we have the Power Whip Psychic Mega Drain Stun Spore Executor. So, uh, and he's also running Relax, which will allow him to survive a two-hit KO from... I literally cannot remember why I did that. Uh, the reason we have Power Whip is because... <sighs> Why... Why are we bringing it this week, guys? I forget. 
there's there's a mon that has ludicrously high I, am, I, I need to pull it up but i know that if i move my mouse it's gonna mess up my entire recording so i need to i built this team a few days ago guys so i'm recording this a little late and i actually kind of forget there's a there's a mon that mega drain uh won't handle very well and so i wanted to bring a physical option for it and that's the reason i have power whip maybe it's not, like he has a mon on his team that resists psychic you can see i, I <laughs> You can see my lack of interest here. Stun Spore just to spread a little bit of uh, a slow around so that maybe we can answer certain months with other uh, with other slower threats. Superpower Earthquake Facade Bulk Up Hitmonlee. Really just to have an answer, like a, a stab, super effective answer for Kangas Khan. Uh, bulk Up if I'm predicting some switches or if he has a mon that's throwing around status, uh, maybe I can get a bulk up on the uh, status absorb so that I can start uh, trying to hit really hard with facade. And uh, otherwise, just, yeah, that's Hitmonlee for you. And then Tauros, this thing, I swear to God, when I drafted it, I was just like, yeah, it's pretty solid uh, normal type, uh, good speed. Wanted to get a, a base 110 speed on my, uh, on my books. He's jolly, uh, which will allow him to outspeed everything except the Aerodactyl. And uh, Double Edge hits really hard. Actually, Tauros does not struggle to two-hit KO a lot of things. And there's several Mons who are offensive Mons that are not actually able to two-hit KO him back. So, Facade, in case he's going to decide to throw around some status on me. Uh, Earthquake and Rock Slide just for coverage. So, honestly, Tauros is an absolute beast. I'm very happy I ended up drafting it. Uh, we have Vaporeon running the Surf Toxic Acid Armor Protect set. Really, this is to just kind of uh, get a toxic off and just kind of like like toxic stall a little bit with a protect acid armor. If I'm predicting a switch, uh, which will allow me to just kind of set up surf for maximum damage because uh, surf two hit KOs Aerodactyl, uh, which Scald would not. Now it does have a chance to burn, but um, I'd rather rely on the guaranteed two hit KO uh, than than the Scald, especially because a lot of the time Scald forces the, the fear of Scald forces the switches anyway. So uh, that's the full team guys, uh, not really much to go into detail about here because since we're not playing with EVs, didn't do a ton of speed creeping, didn't run incredibly unique sets, that's the nature of LGPE for you. You guys let me know in the comment section down below, were you thinking maybe it would have made sense to bring a Lolan Golem, uh, ditto, which obviously... This is, the, this is the hilarious part for me. People, I think, uh, some of the analysts when they were reviewing my team didn't seem to get that Ditto was uh, a meme pick. Like, I always draft Ditto. People know that, right? Like, that's, like, kind of my thing. Did people not realize that was 100% a joke? They're thinking, like, oh, manual transform Ditto? What an idiot. Like, yeah, obviously I'm not going to bring it. LGBE, man, people don't. Anyway, so... Um, do you think I should have brought either of those two mods? You guys let me know in the comment section down below. As always, my name is Jim Leader Geo. You guys are the challengers. Thanks for stopping by. I'll see you guys tomorrow.